Welcome to another day here in Ubud, Indonesia on the beautiful island of Bali. Here is a first look of a rice field here in Ubud. You might be able to see the flag in the distance there, that is to scare away the birds. Apparently the birds are more attracted to the rice when it is young because it's much sweeter. So entrance into the monkey forest costs 50,000 rupiah. As you come through the entrance there's a ticket office, just speak to a member of staff and they will sort you out. So here we go, walking through the monkey forest. Not too sure what this is, it's coming from the tree. Oh. And here we go, this is the entrance to the monkey forest. This one's a big bugger. Apparently within this forest there are 678 monkeys. So apparently they recommend that you don't stare at the monkeys in their eyes because they can attack. I'm just going to keep quiet for 30 seconds or so just so that you can hear the background noise. Apparently the trees in the forest area are a mix of teak and mahogany and they can grow to as much as 130 feet tall. I've no idea where I'm going to right now, I'm just following these paths. It's just probably the safest thing to do. I've not seen any monkeys for a little while but they're probably hanging out where all the tourists are. And I do classify myself as a tourist but I don't know, I suppose I'm a different type of tourist. I don't always go to popular tourist attractions. And I like to get off the beaten track every now and again. I really hope that you're enjoying this new style of video where I just basically point and shoot and share with you what I find. You can buy bananas and fruit to feed to the monkeys. They were about 50,000 rupiah which I think is about £2.50, about three US dollars, which I thought was a bit pricey. Correct, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 
Well, we are back where we started, and that was well worth the 50,000 rupiah. Right, I need to find myself a drink and a bit of a rest before we go on to our next destination. So I got a healthy drink, it's got pineapple in it, ginger, apple and lime. I need that break, it's now time to continue on with my exploring. So where we're going now, we're going to see lots of rice fields and landscapes, so I'm looking forward to going on this walk. Just got about a 2k walk to get there. So I've just got some essential items for my walk. Water. Some of these are like uh, almond bars, they're good for like keeping en energy up. Put them in there. Oh, we've got some of these as well. Wet wipes. <laughs> so, yeah, sorted. Let's get going. This appears to be the local football pitch. Well, for my American friends watching this, Saka. So we're back on the main street. If you watched yesterday's video, you will have seen this. So I'm about 1k away from where I need to be. So we'll continue to walk. For those that don't know, Circle K is a 24 hour convenience store. It's very much like the 7-Eleven in Thailand. It's at this point when I'm walking down the streets that I'm hoping I'm going in the right direction. Although I've only been walking, I reckon I've probably burnt off a couple of hundred calories today. It's so warm and humid. I'm not complaining because I love this type of weather. It's just something that you need to bear in mind if you come to Bali, come to Southeast Asia. It's just something that you've got to get used to pretty quickly. Again, hoping I'm heading in the right direction, but we're just going over the river here. Not too sure what he's building, but he's hard at work. I think I've come too far down, I need to go back up the hill a little bit. Bloody typical. <laughs> Darren's lost again. Okay, this sign is saying that this is the direction I need to be going in. It's about 2k. When you come on a trip like today, always make sure that you have some water and also an isotonic drink to replace the sweat and the fluids that you're losing as you are walking. And also make sure that you always bring your mosquito spray with you. Sorry. Heavy breathing. Probably can't tell how steep these hills are on camera, but very steep. At least it's all downhill coming back. Oh my God. I'm hoping I'm nearly there. Or at least we're a flat bit. Oh, heavy breathing. It's all pretty much flat now, which is good. My heart stopped beating like crazy. Yeah, it's a nice little walk. Ha ha ha. 
Og så også, hvad hedder det, øh, når vi skal ud, så er vi her i kæft byen. I just found a nice little quiet spot to sit down and relax for 10 minutes. I have no idea what this is on the tree. It's some kind of, ooh, I don't know, some kind of worm. I've no idea how far I am from like the destination from the cafe, but I've just started to feel a little bit lightheaded and I'm not taking any risks considering I'm here alone. So that's the downside of having diabetes that sometimes with the heat, the sugar levels can drop pretty quickly. But don't worry, I am absolutely fine. I'm just being cautious. When she start feeling a little bit lightheaded, it's wise just to stop, get some water, and don't get dehydrated and take any risks. So this dish is called nasi garang and this is done in a Balinese style as you can see you've got these little bowls with little bits of items in like this one here it's got like mixed vegetables in there so yeah we've got the egg on the top which you get with a nasi garang and then you've got these little skewers of chicken here in the actual rice there's lumps of garlic by the looks of it, it looks really nice let's tuck into it and see Mm. I'm not too sure what these are. Oh, that's chicken, not garlic at all. Apologies about the field exploring at the end there. I just wanted to be a little bit cautious. I've seen these for sale all over Bali. They're like tree trunks with glass melted into them. Really unusual. Not too sure if I'm on private property right now, but I just saw this gate as I was walking past. So explorers, I'm back in my hotel room. I freshened off in the shower and uh, it's been a fun day. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying this new style of content, this longer kind of sharing as much as I can of my day. If you are enjoying it, please do let me know because if I don't get any comments from people saying that they're enjoying this new style then I'm assuming you're not watching the video to the end and I'm assuming you don't like it so yeah please let me know down in the comments if you are a super explorer and have watched the video to the end don't forget to let me know down in the comments as well tomorrow Wednesday I'm going to be going on a first of two kind of barley island tours going to be going all over plantation fields coffee fields trying some local barley coffee we're going to be going to some temples and waterfalls, see some volcanoes and rivers, it's going to be fantastic. So please keep with me, please keep watching and supporting this channel, share the videos, like the videos, comment. Until next time, don't forget to explore and take care.